This is a video showing the use of the Behringer BCF 2000 fader pack with Reaper. I'm using Reaper version 6. First off, I'll turn, I'll turn the unit off to show you how to set it up to start with. If you hold down the buttons and hit the power on the back, you can put the unit into several different modes. Button number one is the Behringer preset mode. Button number two is Mackie Cubase. Button number three is Mackie Logic Mode. The next one is Mackie Sonar Mode. The next one is Baby Huey. We're going to use Mackie Cubase Mode. The Behringer is connected to the back of the iMac with a MIDI cable. Holding the button down. Turn the power on. Keep holding the button. Goes into the global edit mode. Turn encoder 1 to make sure it's in user number 1. I'll turn that again. Let's see, user group number 1. Hit the exit button and now that's saved. Now we're going to fire up Reaper. Okay, to configure Reaper, options, preferences, audio MIDI devices. See the BFC 2000 is recognized, but it's disabled. This is what you want. And also disabled in the lower box as well. Scroll down to Control OSC Web. You want to select Mackie Control Extended. The Mackie Control Universal is for an MCU unit with a master volume. This does not have that, so the extended Mackie Control Extended is what you want. In the edit function, you want to make sure that you've got the BCF 2000 selected. So now it's configured in Reaper. So let's add some tracks. So Command T on the keyboard, Control T if you're on a Windows unit. I'm going to add eight tracks. And you notice that the uh, faders responded as each track was created. And also the track select lights lit up. Okay, first of all at the top you have the rotary encoders for panning. As you see, the panning is changing. Number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight. Notice that the ring LEDs show you the pan position. By pressing the top of the encoder button down, it centers it. The next row of buttons are mutes and solos. Press again to unmute. If you hold the upper shift button, you can solo the tracks. Notice that they flash, the lights flash when you're in solo mode. Holding the button down again, unsolo. The next series of buttons are Track Select and Record Ready. So to select a track, push the button, turn it off, to unselect it, or you can press multiple tracks at the same time. And the light goes out when you deselect them. I'm going to mute the master so that we don't get any feedback for this next section. To record ready, you hit the upper shift. As you can see, the faders are responding to the microphone of my volume, of my voice, so it's ready to record. Now this is a demonstration project and I hadn't set an output folder so if I 
ask it to record right now, it's it's not going to record anything because it's not a file has not been set a path for the file to go to. So I'm going to disarm the tracks. Transport buttons are stop and play. When you hit stop, it turns to where the green light is at home right now. But if you hit play, when you hit play again, it'll go into pause mode. And you can see the blue-green line is uh, now have moved. And you can hit home on your keyboard to return that. Now let's lay down some markers. Left cursor plus lower shift. Play. Lower shift, left cursor. As you can see, I'm dropping markers. Now the cursor's controls will move to those positions and it will cycle for the right cursor. The left cursor once you get home, it stays there. The above, above that is the banks. Since I only have eight tracks now, there's nothing to bank to, so let's create eight more tracks. Command T on the keyboard, or if you're on Windows, just Control T. Now you can bank to those. And to indicate I'm actually being banking, I'm going to make some changes here. On the first bank of eight, let's bank over to the second. You can bank back to the first. There's another way you can do this by double clicking or by single clicking in the software. Right now we're on bank two. I'm going to click on number one here. And now we're in the first bank, going down to track 9. Now we're in the second bank. And I'm going to return these to Unity. You can read and write automation. BSC 2000. Right now track number one is selected. I'm going to touch V on the keyboard for volume and a volume automation lane is created. To set that up to right, here's the right button and the lower arrow indicates you use the lower shift. And as you can see, it's changed to right mode. So let's write some automation. Stop. Change it to read mode. Down arrow read. And hit play. This has been a short tutorial on using the BCF 2000 Behringer Fader Pack with Reaper.